Sometimes your doctor may tell you that you need to fast before a test or your surgery. This means not eating or drinking anything for a period of time. If your surgery requires general anesthesia, you will be unconscious during your procedure. This means if you have food or liquid in your stomach, some of it may enter your lungs. This is called aspiration. Although uncommon, it can be dangerous as it can cause an infection and lung damage. So, if you don't follow your doctor's instructions on fasting, you are putting your health at risk. The requirement to fast will depend on the surgery you're having and the type of anesthesia you will need. If your surgery only requires local anesthesia, you're not required to be fasting. If you're having general anesthesia, where you will be unconscious, regional anesthesia, where a part of your body will be numb, or sedation, where you will be sleepy, you need to fast. The duration of fasting will depend on a number of factors, but a few general principles remain the same. Your doctor will give you advice specific for your surgery. You should avoid having any solid food for at least six hours before your surgery. This also includes milk, even in small quantities like in tea or coffee. You can drink clear liquids for up to two hours before your surgery. This includes any liquid you can see across when poured into a glass. This includes water, some fruit juices and tea without milk. You should not eat or drink anything in the final two hours before your surgery. Some patients with long-standing diabetes will need to fast longer. You should take your regular medicine on the morning of your surgery with some water. This is especially important with medicine you take for any heart conditions or seizures. Sometimes you will be given medicine as a part of the anesthetic plan to reduce your pain after your surgery. Some drugs need to be stopped for several days before your surgery and your doctor will advise you on these specifically. In some centers, a drink containing sugar will be given to you several hours before your surgery. For more videos like this, please visit my YouTube channel or Facebook page. If you would like to know more about this or have any questions, please leave a comment below. You could also comment on any topics you would like me to cover in the future. Thank you.